This is Soundcheck at 93.9 WNYC. We're online at WNYC.org. I'm John Schaefer. The young German soprano Diana Damrau, or Diana, as she is inevitably called here in the States, has wowed audiences with her agile coloratura voice and her knack for pushing the upper limits of the vocal range. She's currently appearing as Serbinetta in the Metropolitan Opera's production of Richard Strauss's Ariadne auf Naxos. Newsday praised her portrayal, describing how she, quote, nailed Zerbinetta's stratospheric notes and torrents of flourishes, and lit up the house with the pluck, poetry, and uncontainable joy of her portrayal. Diana Damrau joins us here on Soundcheck today to talk about the high-wire act of high-register singing. Diana, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for now, having me here. You, you, you've made a, a name for yourself as a, a coloratura. Yes. Now, what defines a coloratura, and, and how do you know that you're a coloratura soprano, as opposed <laughs> to any other kind of soprano? <laughs> well, um, it defines that is, it is a soprano, normal, a very high uh, female voice, with some ad- additional high notes. I mean, the, the range is bigger mm-hmm. than, than a normal lyric soprano. And, um, well, and with me, it, it, I started as, when I, when I started studying with my, with my teacher, I sang in the lower range to build up the voice, to learn how to sing. Mm-hmm. And then um, my voice de- started to develop. That means it, it, uh, what, what God gave me, <laughs> mm-hmm. it, it appeared somehow, and that I could, could reach the higher notes. So when you started, you didn't really know if you had these incredibly high notes. It's it's actually in in the practice and the training yeah. that you begin yeah. to develop that. Yeah. Well, my teacher said your voice is very silvery, very light. Yeah. You can tell that from the beginning. And she said, well, she will you will be a very high soprano, but you have also lyrical quality in your voice. Um, that means I can do also. Pamina, for instance. I'm going to sing Pamina at the Met in, mm-hmm. in, in two years. But uh, I started as a younger singer. I mean, you, you, you start with the roles which really come, come first with the voice. Right. When you're young, you can really do everything. I mean, the muscles and body works and you can, can do, do the very difficult so, high so singing. Th- I mean, you, you mentioned muscles. I mean, th- there is some training involved. Uh, is, yes. it, is it very athletic to be able to, to, to produce those kind of notes, especially while you're acting and running around the stage? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think it's, it's a connection. I, I think an opera singer has to be an athlete somehow. I mean, you have, you have to uh, have your body, your nerves, everything under control to really uh, appear every night in top form and mm-hmm. and show you very best that means you your normal life uh well you 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 have to do some sacrifices there yeah. and and well live and and behave like like a sportsman with, with lots of discipline <laughs> so no rock and roll lifestyle for you no and no smoking <laughs> and no alcohol <laughs> well a little bit all right uh, yeah a little champagne after a particularly good performance <laughs> I guess the thing when you're singing so high up, if you're not singing on pitch, everybody notices. So it, <laughs> the, the notes are very exposed when you get that high. Yes, they, yes, they are. They are. Well, and especially with Queen of the Night, uh, there really you can hear. I mean, a, a child can tell when you when you sing the wrong note. <laughs> well, now what is uh, practically speaking? Yeah. What is the highest note that most sopranos are usually called on to sing? Well, I think um, it it will be the C, high C, or high, the high C or D. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes in in bel canto, I mean a, a traviata, for instance, she has to sing the um, uh, how do you say the E flat, 
right. at the end of her aria. But it's it's an option. It's not necessary. I mean, it's not... There's another note that's been the, written into the yes, score. Yes, that is okay. really written, but tradition uh, tells that you have to sing this <laughs> E flat. Mm -hmm. and, and that that can be done done with uh, with stronger voices too. Right. And also, well, some, some singers start as a very high... A soprano, and then the voice gets lower. I mean, the body changes, and that's the interesting thing of our profession because we we're really in contact with with our body, with uh, the development of our body, of our daily feelings, and well, it's um, we have to we have to work with that. Yeah. And when the body changes, and and maybe you're not that fit that day, you really, um, yeah, you. You have you have to go keep on working. You have to find another way to, <laughs> yeah, to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you talk about in in Traviata where there's this optional E flat. I mm -hmm. mean, there is there is a tradition in opera of singers who are able to get those high notes mm -hmm. actually putting them in where they don't where they didn't really exist. <laughs> and, and you did that at, at, at the uh, reopening of the great o Italian opera house La Scala, right? And oh. there was a Salieri opera where you. Uh, yes. You added a, an um, extra note? Yes, I <laughs> added an extra note, yeah. <laughs> well, but this is also kind of um, of tradition. Right. That you, that you, when you have your cadenza, you can do what you want, uh, unless it, it's in style. It has to be in style. Right. And, uh, well, Salieri, Salieri wrote this uh, role very, very high. We had uh, three F sharps. That means... It, higher than the queen of the night wow and uh, and it's written and you have to do it because it's written right. but in the cadences you're free and i thought well if i sing this f sharp like staccato i can i can join in a g and it worked <laughs> so you just throw in a high g so most no. sopranos go up to high c maybe mm -hmm. high d now you're e f f you're you're mm -hmm. another yeah. Several notes above that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a, a letter. <laughs> okay. Well, but I, what, what is important because it's not the sports of the high notes right. and singing and, and I think you can impress people, but you can't touch them with your high notes and artist art, artistical uh, way of singing, uh, singing. Uh, sorry, sorry for my English. I try to. No, no, <laughs> you're doing fine. I, I, I know what you mean. That it's not, it's not, uh, you know, a, a display of vocal fireworks. You're trying to yeah. create a sense of the line of the music. And yes, yes, and and really touch with the colors and with the meaning and the uh, how you treat the words. Right. And what you are telling a story, and and you 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 are. A, a different character. I mean, you are not yourself on stage. I, I, I don't want to be Diana Damro uh, gives Zerbinetta. I want to be Zerbinetta. Mm -hmm. That's. I want to be Gretel when I sing Gretel and Hansel and Gretel, and I want to be uh, Queen of the Night when I sing Queen of the Night. And I, that's. My